Hi, I'm Paul Modiano from Logical Developers, and in this video, we're going to review how to add third party controls to your Iron Speed Designer application. Specifically, we are going to add Telerix RAD Date Time Picker. To show you how to integrate the Telerik RAD Date Time Picker control into an Iron Speed application, I'm going to start out by showing you this. Well, this was a very simple, uh, quick uh, application that I put together based on the uh, included Southwind database. And what we're looking is uh, at the orders. And if I go and I add an order, you're going to see that I have a page which has uh, a lot of fields. And in specifically over here, uh, the created on is a date time field. Uh, but if you click on it, Iron Speed uh, has already set it up with a nice date picker that you can use here. Now, the problem is that for many purposes that you may have, you may want to allow the selection of both a date and a time. So I'm just going to use that field to illustrate what it could do. Normally, I wouldn't even display the created on or updated on or created by and updated by fields. I would have them auto populate and I would keep them invisible. But for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to leave them in. The first thing we want to do is bring our Telerik controls into our Iron Speed Designer app. And the way to do that, or the best way to do it, is through Visual Studio. Now I'm looking at the Add Orders ASPX page. Now it's important to note that nothing that you do to an ASPX page in Visual Studio is going to last because Iron Speed likes to put its templates and fill its templates and create that ASPX page when something has changed in the Iron Speed Designer uh, project. But uh, we have Telerik tools here that we need to bring in and Visual Studio will do a number of things for us. So we're going to temporarily drag these elements in and we're later going to copy them into our Iron Speed Designer app. So I'm going to start by grabbing the Rad Date Time Picker from my toolbox and I'm going to put it any old place. It really doesn't matter for this uh, first step. So I'm going to put it right here. And Visual Studio is doing a couple of things. First thing it's doing is it's adding all the required Telerik files to my bin folder. Okay, So that brings in everything you need, all the DLLs, to use Telerik tools. The second thing it's doing is it's adding this um, register assembly statement to the top of our page. And the third thing is it's bringing the time picker in. OK, so we're going to grab this assembly registration statement. We're going to copy it out of here, and we're going to go to Iron Speed. We should go to Configure and Page Directives on that page. And make a little space at the top and paste in our assembly registration. There. The next thing we want to do is go back to the Iron Speed app in Visual Studio and highlight our rad date time picker control and we're gonna grab it copy it and we're gonna find a place to put it I think that the best place to put it would be right where the created on field is and I'm gonna put it right at the beginning of the created on there we go so we want to do two things now we want to make it appear that our Telerik rad date time picker is replacing the created on text box that iron speed put in and we want to make sure that the created on field that iron speed put in is populated with what we put into the rad date time picker when the save page button is pressed so we'll do the first thing very easily we're going to make it appear that this Telerik picker is taking the place of created on. And the way we're going to do that is by setting created on text box visibility to false. So now the only thing that should be visible there is our date time picker. Now we have to make sure that the values get populated. 
At this point, all remaining things can be done from the Add Orders page code behind page. First thing we'll notice is that we are going to want to mention Telerik here, but we don't have the import statement. So let's add that so that we can access all the Telerik UI stuff. Okay, this leaves us with one final task. We're going to go and we're going to scroll down and we're going to keep looking and what we'll eventually find is the cancel, save and new, and save button. And you can see under the save button, it activates this save button click base, which is going to tell it to save the page and return to the previous page. So anything that we want it to do before the save, we should do right here. And I'm just going to paste in some code that we've written. I'm going to be pasting in three statements. The first is this, dimension create on as a text box. And I use C-type to find control recursively the created on a text box and I specify that it is a text box. So now we have create the created on that we can access. The next thing that we have is our date time picker and to make that accessible I do pretty much the same thing. I say my date time picker equals uh, a rad date time picker and I'm finding the control recursively and I'm setting there. And this is the final statement that does what we want it to do before the page is saved which is basically we say created on the text box dot text equals my date time picker dot selected date dot to string. Once that happens the page is saved and now my created on value populates the database. Let's see how that works. After building and running, you could see that our add orders page is complete and it has a date time picker that we can set for whatever we want. And let's name the ship name my test. And I'll just set a couple of these values. And finally, we will uh, submit our page by going to the bottom and saving and let's look for my test there it is okay and let's look at it and sure enough it has the correct and picked date and time so there you go I hope that this video has been helpful for more information you can see the videos at logicaldevelopers.com or videos or knowledge base at Iron Speed Designer and of course uh, Telerik.com. Thanks for watching.